Hello again, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's and Scale Trains. Today I'm going to talk about the next video segment on my construction series on the Conejos Valley Railroad, an 80-inch by 36-inch railroad that I've been building for the last couple of months. The Conejos Valley Railroad has some fairly con concentrated trackage in the yard area, and I wanted to make sure that the trains run through it smoothly. So today, I'm going to be running trains back and forth to see how they do. I'll start by putting together a train in the yard area. In a future video, I'm going to talk about tuning up my cars. As you can see, these two cars, these two reefers, have large flanges that aren't compatible with the Atlas switches, so they tend to bump over them. Next, I'll show the train taking the siding at Fox Creek. After that, it'll back up to see how it backs up through this through the switch. Remember, I use number six switches throughout. Here the train is crossing over from the inner to the outer loop. So it's time to put away the train for the night onto the Conejo siding. This is the big test of the track, taking the double S curve. Let's see how it does going backwards. Except for the wheel wobble, it's doing pretty well. Looks good. So that's it for now. If you like these videos, Please give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, Dean's N-Scale Trains. Thanks for watching.